Hi friends! Today we are going to read another book by Leo Liani and this book is called Fish is Fish. Hmm, I wonder what this is about. Leo Liani, Fish is Fish. Fish is Fish. Remember, that's our title and our cover page. See? Fish is Fish. At the gate, at the edge of the woods, there was a pond. And there, a minnow, right here, minnow's another word for a baby fish, and a tadpole swam along the weeds. They were inseparable. That means they were together all the time. One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night, he had grown two little legs. Look, he said triumphantly, look, I'm a frog. Nonsense, said the minnow. How could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish just like me? They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, frogs are frogs and fish is fish and that is that. In the weeks that followed, the tadpole grew tiny front legs and then his tail, it got smaller and smaller, see? Look, he had his back legs, now he's got little front legs and his tail's shrinking, but the fish is still a fish. And then one fine day, a real frog now. He climbed out out of the water and onto the grassy bank. So look, he's climbing out. I wonder where he's gonna go. The minnow too had grown and he had become a full-fledged fish. He often wondered where his four-footed friend had gone. But days and weeks went by, and the frog did not return. How do you think he felt? Yeah, I think he might be a little sad. Then one day, with a happy splash that shook the weeds, the frog jumped back into the pond. Where have you been? asked the fish. I've been about the world, hopping here and there, and I've seen the most extraordinary things. Like what? asked the fish. Birds, said the frog mysteriously. Birds. And he told the fish about the birds. They had wings and legs and many, many colors. Now, is that really what a bird looks like? Hmm. You're right. It kind of looks like a fish, but with wings and a tail and legs like a bird. It's like a fish bird or a bird fish. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds fly through his mind like fe large feathered fish. What else? asked the fish impatiently. I wonder what else. <clears throat> Let's see if you can guess what he saw. What do you think he saw? You're right, cows! Cows, said the frog. They have four legs, they have horns, they eat grass, and they carry pink bags of milk. See? Do you remember what that's called when we learned about cows a few weeks ago? That's right, that's the udder. That's what we need to squeeze so we can get the milk out. Hmm. Did you ever see a cowfish or a fish cow? What should we call it? You think about it, let me know. <gasps> oh, what do you think these are? Hmm. Well, they stand up, they walk on two legs, it looks like. They have hats and they wear clothes and sometimes they eat lollipops. Hmm. No, not a kangaroo. Something on two legs. Hmm. Monkey? No, not a monkey. <gasps> People, you're right. Men, women, children. And he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the picture in the fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things and he could not sleep, he was so excited. Ah, uh, if he could only jump out like his friend and see that wonderful world. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how silly. Look. There's the bird fish and the people fish. And look, the bird fish is standing on the cowfish. And so the days went by. The frog had gone and the fish just lay there, dreaming about birds in flight. 
grazing cows, and those strange animals all dressed up that his friend called people. One day, he finally decided that come what may, he too must see them. And so with a mighty whack of the tail, he jumped clear out of the water and onto the bank. Oh no. Oh, there he is. He landed in the dry, warm grass, and there he lay gasping for air, unable to breathe or move. Help, he groaned feebly. Now, why do you think he needs help? Hmm. You're right. He's a fish, and fish need water. Do any of you have a fish at home? I know Penny does. Luckily, the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him, and with all his strength, he helped his friend get back into the pond. Oh, look, I think he's happy now. Still stunned. That's another way to say surprised. The fish floated about for an instant. Then he breathed deeply, <sighs> letting the clean, cool air run clean, cool water run through his gills. Now he felt weightless again, and with an ever so slight motion of the tail, he could move to and fro, up and down, just like he did before. The sun rays reached down within the weeds and gently shifted patches of luminous color. His world was surely the most beautiful of all worlds. He smiled at his friend, the frog, who sat watching him from a lily, lily leaf. You were right. Fish is fish. The end. Thanks for coming, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I want you to think about some other kinds of fish or other animals that maybe the frog might have seen. Hmm. Do you think you could draw one? If you can, send me a picture, okay? I'll talk to you soon, boys and girls. Bye.